Hello YouTube. Today by a request I am going to show you Google Chrome and Internet Explorer 8. Now Google Chrome I just downloaded a week ago and haven't played with it too much but I can tell you this I like a lot of features about it. One feature I like is this window right here. When you open up a new tab or open up a new Google Chrome window you see your most visited websites and that's one feature I like uh, you got a search box right here also one thing I like is um you can just start searching here like search for YouTube it's search straight for YouTube and it is pretty fast it uses um the conqueror rendering engine that's found in Safari and the Conqueror web browser for KDE on Linux. Um, I tested it. It passes the ACID2 test. Um, the ACID2 is a set of standards that were set up. It's very, very fast. I haven't looked through all of the features yet, but it it's pretty good and pretty fast sorry I can't give you any more of a review but I really didn't look through the whole thing now Internet Explorer 8 it also passes the ACID2 test which I I like because no other Internet Explorer browser passed the ACID2 test one thing I like about Internet Explorer 8 is when you open a new tab it asks you what do you want to do gives you some tabs that you have closed to reopen uh, I don't know what the in private browsing is I don't ever use any private browsing but I also like the accelerator that comes built in or yeah that comes built into Internet Explorer 8 it gives you web services that are copied which so it's similar not quite but it's kinda like that ubiquity add-on for Firefox that I showed you um and I te oh yeah I already said I tested it it passes the acid 2 test and one thing I like is it's got a compatibility mode where you can run it in a compatibility tester and see this is how the acid 2 test would appear in Internet Explorer 7 and it was even worse before get out of compatibility mode and it fixes I think I have to refresh it close that another thing that I like whoops can't spell today is it search feature is it exact almost exactly like Firefox's so if I wanted to search see it also actively in live searches just like it does in Firefox it's pretty good because there because there are still sites that I have to access in Internet Explorer and this actually helps with large documents All right. Oh, another thing. I've been asked what's happened to my C sharp uh, learn how to program in C sharp videos. They're coming. I just have ran into a problem with making them. In my videos are almost always longer than ten than ten minutes. But I'm come. I've developed a new style of doing uh, the videos to in which I only have theory at the beginning if there's going to be something that I don't show throughout the um, video while pr actively programming I mean writing out the source code I think it'll save me some time I haven't actually tested that yet but I will